Hey guys, welcome back to another Chief Pep video. This week we're gonna wire the switches and connect the lights. So welcome back everyone. So this week I've continued my wiring especially. Uh, the first thing that I did was finding a fender. As I already told you, uh, I really want to bring stuff to the spray painter because I want the spray painter to have his time and do the best job he can. But I only can bring all the stuff when everything is complete. So that includes a fender as well. First, let's have a look at that. This is the only place I could search for a fender myself. All the other parts are sorted by type and thus very hard to just go through crates and root about. I found this white fender. First I thought it might work since my tank also has some square edges. And these were my other two I still have from my previous project. I decided to try them all. Of course my idea was to cut the fenders here and there, but I had to see the possibilities and dimensions first. All the fenders just had too much typical sizes in their own shapes which made them unusable. I just needed a plain custom fender, so I searched in which sizes they come and cut this out of the cardboard. I made my choice and ordered a fender. Now it's just waiting for the package to arrive. So as you can see, um, I didn't find the fender on the scrapyard. I couldn't use the fenders that I already have as well because yeah, they just have a special shape and everything. So I just uh, went for the custom uh, fender. I hope it will be delivered soon because I'm waiting for a week now already. Uh, but this is just a custom fender of 400 millimeters and which really should do the job. And then I have to build a bracket. So I want to go to the workshop uh, to Razelman and uh, that's the last thing uh, he has to do. Uh, and I think he will be happy to see me back because I haven't seen him for a long time now. Uh, but we have to make a, a bracket where it sits on. Um, so now let's continue with the wiring. We have made that brown wire, which gives positive permanent current when the ignition key is turned on. We won't be going to a tachometer. This is one of those nonsense relays you can ditch. We can get a perfect signal from the orange cable of our rear coil. Our digital speedometer will pick up the RPM signal without any flaw. The brown wire also feeds our speedometer with 12 volts. And our neutral wire, by the way, is not on our diagram. That will go like this. We will make that. Here you see where our brown wire needs to go. This yellow RPM pulse wire needs the orange rear pickup lead. Speed pulse will be done by a speed sensor. Of course, every unit needs ground as well. Blue and green are for nonsense remote switches. We'll cut that off. These are the wires. Let's start. Let's do yellow and black first. So the RPM pulse wire and ground. White and red will follow later. Let's make it nicely on length. I had to open up my orange coil wire to make a split there. I took my original solder point and would add the wire there.
So there is our RPM signal wire. Oh, we are here anyway. Let's connect that red wire straight to our distribution bus, which distributes the brown 12 plus wire. In the meantime, I gave the meter a ground wire, straight to the back. Later on, I decided to make a distribution point for ground on the frame in the front. Something I didn't decide here yet. This is that positive wire connected to the distribution bus. This is a lead for a warning light. A light will glow up if it gets any signal. You can add any wire you like, like a side stand switch for instance. I would like it to be a low oil warning light. We have a wire like that running from the bottom of our engine where the drain plug is. Let's connect that. Furthermore, the lights are coming up. First do that warning wire. I have my wire already prepared here. It comes with a mill bus type connector, so let's just use that. Oh yeah, I still have the stator connection harness, which is way too long. I have to sort that too. How shall I run that? One thing is for sure, I'm not going to use these hideous old-fashioned white block connectors. Let's cut those off and shorten that harness. Let's add a super seal connector. Now the left hand switch. We won't be using a clutch sensor wire, so we cut that off. So what you might wonder is, uh, do I do all the wiring completely from the top of my head? Um, yes and no. Of course I need my diagrams. I want to have the diagrams as a basics. Okay, where is everything going? But next to that, I'm constantly thinking before I start uh, with a harness, for instance, where are all these wires coming from and where do they need to go to? And it really is a kind of common sense. Um, you just really have to think close that something needs a uh, power and a switch needs to operate something. So that's just logical. And if you understand which wires uh, are there, then you also understand uh, where they need to go or where they should be connected. For instance, a toggle switch. Sometimes you have a toggle switch and sometimes you don't. Or you can choose, do I want a toggle switch? Or do I even want it to work? You can have it there, but you also could bypass it if you like. And that's just common sense and thinking logical. So what you see me doing here, for instance, is just thinking, okay, what are these colors? Why are, the, why are these colors like this? Because that also tells you a lot. So it gives you a lot of information. For instance, the three blinker lights cables they all have the kind of the same color and one of them is really outstanding with a, a white stripe for instance okay that will probably be the pulse wire so yeah the wires also tell you a lot of stuff so let's continue with this wiring video i will be running a lot of light cables now so bear with me 
So this is my left hand side switch. As you can see it has a lot of buttons. It has a left and a right indicator, it has a horn, a normal light and a high beam. And we have the passing switch. So this is, uh, even though this is a Yamaha uh, uh, signal switch um, uh, unit, um, still the wires don't uh, don't cross. But but you can figure them out. So how does it work? Um, this pink one is always horn. This is my horn switch. Black one is always um, a ground wire. So we have those. Now we have. Uh, a few uh, wires which are from uh, lights so this is my high beam light okay so this is for your high beam uh, the yellow one but we also need a signal in which tells the control switch we uh, we should run lights this is your toggle switch if you use a toggle switch then this blue black wire should be tells the this unit we have we need light okay so this is for just light okay now um what else this is also my passing light and why is this one this uh, yellow red one because normally you should always could you uh, use your pass light even though your turns your switch tells you there is no light or there is light okay so even if my lights are off my toggle switch is off i still can give a high beam signal because i'm gonna put permanent 12 volts in here permanent positive in here okay so these are gone as well now you can also see it look um there you go maybe you can see it you will see there a green a yellow and a blue one okay so this is just for this control switch but i also have that yellow here with the passing you see so there will be a permanent 12 volt there and that yellow cable is connected to this yellow cable is connected to this yellow cable because if i have an emergency situation and i'm passing hey guys i'm passing passing even though i have my lights off i want to want this to work so these are my lights and i think i'm gonna put one connector on this one i'm gonna leave these two like that and then i have three left what are these three these are my turn signals turn signals are here so how does that work so i'm gonna put a uh, there will be running 12 volts out of there it will give a signal via this cable so here will be a a on and off for my from my turn signal relay so my turn signal relay will go in here pulsing 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 and that pulse will go rather to the right or to the left okay so that's basically it and of course this will run to front and back and this will run to front and back and i think i'm going to put one connector on these three cables as well so I'm go i think i'm going to use the super seals for this and a super seal for that and these two uh, the black and the and the green one the horn and uh, i can't be bothered to put that in a connect i just put a straight connector there okay so that's my wiring of my left hand side i'm gonna try to run that now This will be the blue positive wire for the lights. It will go into my toggle switch of the right hand side. 
This will be a high beam signal light for the dashboard. It's also blue since the wire on the speedometer also is blue. So when I give high beam, something lights up in the dashboard. And this yellow cable will feed the headlight. So these three will be joined and one, one, one of them will go into the super seal connector because the super seal connector will give will feed the high beam and the passing light in number two. So these have to go in number two. First I have to solder them together. High beam is now connected. Now for low beam, the green wire. So this is for my blue, blue, black and yellow, red cable. So blue goes in. So we have blue here, permanent 12 volts. This will light up blue together with red, yellow for my park light or my city light as we call it in Europe. And then I put my lights on and this will fire up my blue, black wire. Okay, so this is blue, black. This is red, yellow, and this is off. So blue will go in and gives nothing. Now we need a blue, black, from our toggle switch and a permanent 12 volt plus which will just be the same blue running from our fuse box and running into the toggle switch. This will be the blue black cable going into the right hand switch. Now for the blue cable, permanent 12 volt plus in. This is a connector I scavenged from my old harness, which holds a double female connector, so I can add two blue wires. There, now the lights part is connected in the switches. Now for the lights itself. So we've got three wires left from the headlight, which is green is earth for, for your uh, main bulb, black and brown, these are um, the park light, this is the park light. So this park light has a black one for earth and a brown one, and the brown one is the one that is for my, uh, my switch, which has a park, park um, park switch or a uh, we call it city light um, yeah we just have that here in Europe I don't know if this is typical for Europe so I will just connect these two ground wires together why not so this will be the wire for my red yellow cable so this will be my wire for my red yellow cable for my parking light or my city light that is a pretty unimportant wire, but you know, I want everything to be connected. If it's there, it should be connected. So now I'm gonna figure out how many ground wires I need there. So since I need five ground cables at this point, I will be drilling a five millimeter hole here um, to put this bolt so I can connect all these five ground wires at the same spot. Normally I would rather use a 
a bridge like this, but this is more for your plus. And since this will be negative and grounded anyway, I can just easily use my frame for that. So I'm gonna drill that now. So first I will lay a nice firm black cable, ground cable from my rear which is connected to uh, my negative of my battery as well as my frame a real good central point right over here and I will put that on my just freshly drilled 5 millimeter bolt there so I can connect all my wires The headlight is connected, time to start and make kind of a harness. The best way to wrap it is when it has a bit of the shape the wires will run rather than dismounting the headlight and do this on your workbench for instance. So that's it for this week. We've wired again and uh, next week we'll continue. I hope I will be uh, getting to the end of the wiring. But this just takes time and also of course the editing takes a lot of time so I can't uh, really do four or five uh, nights a week uh, working on my bike because I have to edit my videos as well. So I thank you all for watching. If this video helps you, give me a thumbs up as a confirmation and so that everybody finds my videos more easy. Furthermore, put on the notification bell so that you know when I upload my videos. You can also follow me on Facebook so that you know a little bit of behind the scenes or what I'm doing at this moment when I'm not uploading the videos. And I'll see you in the next week. Thank you for watching. Bye. This week, we're going... Uh, switches, we're going to... Connect the switches and lights. Why are the switches and lights? Hey guys, welcome back to another Chief Pep video. This week we're gonna wire the switches and install the lights. Hey guys, welcome back to another Chief Pep video. This week we're gonna wire the switches and install the lights. Connect and wire the switches. We're gonna wire the switches and connect the head, connect the lights, connect, wire the switch and connect the lights. Hey guys, welcome back to another Chief Pep video. This week we're gonna wire the switches, and connect the lights. We're gonna wire the switches and connect the lights. This week we're gonna connect the switches, now that the ears is all off. So welcome back everyone. Uh, but I really enjoy the wiring, that will work out. So now let's. Oh, dat heb ik als het goed is al gedaan. Nog een keer. And this is what I constantly am doing. So as you can see, um, so as you can see, I didn't work. Uh, and this is what I constantly am doing. So as you can see. Um, uh, you uh, you will hear uh, that in the video as well, or you already heard it. I don't know where I uh, edited that. What I constantly am doing while I'm wiring, I'm just thinking. The connector, what sits there and what is there. This is a pretty long topic, so I think I'm gonna do this again. 
uh, but I really enjoy the wiring. Uh, for instance, brown, you just know. Um, hey. For instance, black, you. And this is what I constantly am doing. Uh, I really enjoy this. Um, or there are just a few. And this is what I constantly am doing. There are just a few things that. There are just a few wires or. Um, what am I saying? Uh, but I really enjoy the wiring. Um, uh, 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 um.